But you do need a little bit of tool. You need a, you need an iron pickaxe and about level three in minor sixty nine er to make it effective. Steel spear, huh? Nah. The Hogzilla Ranch. Oh, we're going back to Hogzilla. Say hi to Grace. Have the pig chase me along the roof again. Good by you. Never gonna use you or you. Or you. Still no explosives, books. You cheap, cheap bastards. Another um, early game open locked things option is the uh, the wrench. The wrench will do a pretty good job. If you're in perception tree and you go salvaging, a few points into salvaging and a wrench, that'll also open most of the safes and doors and so on pretty effectively. So you got options other than lock picking. I just never take lock picking. <laughs> I find the other methods too easy and too 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 valuable for other reasons. Might might as well just use those. Of dumping points into lock picking. All right, let's uh, let's let's go. So this is a fetch only above. All right, now let's get the uh... oh radiated cop, radiated cop. Nope. It's just a yep yep. Took out a couple of walls. Not making noises. <laughs> Just laser blasted right through a few things. Air filter landmines! We're getting closer, finally. All right, let's initiate project Stinky Cheese. Let's see, now it says below me. Where are you? Right there, huh? Can't quite get to it. All right, we'll see if we can uh, stinky cheese the finale loot. Whoops. <laughs> That's funny. Totally deserve it. <laughs> totally deserve it. Oh, that's funny. That's okay. Hey, hey, piggy. <laughs> oh, man. Good times. Good times. There's just this difference between when you click the mouse... I, my, my body expects, my body and my brain expects that the action will occur at the point where I click the mouse. That's not how it works. You click the mouse, then you start this slow-ass animation with the axe swinging around, and it's where the axe is pointed at the end of the animation that actually determines where the click is, or where the, uh, the, the hit is going to occur. So, 
I'm pointing at the box. I click, I wait, and I, I unfortunately move on to do something else. And I invariably <laughs> expect that to get hit. But no, it's whatever I'm facing at the end of the long animation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. What's worth the most? Hunting rifle? Yeah, hunting rifle. We did it! <laughs> we got another chem station! Yay, us! Woohoo! Um, I want none of this crap. I want none of it, I guess. No sell price. Eh, this is all junk I don't even want in my inventory. I guess I'll take the time charges. I'm not going to use any of the other stuff. I have a little aside well. I'm waiting. Trader wrecked to the south. Yeah, I knew about him. I knew we had two traders here as well. Ooh, the treasure's not too far away either. I am curious if the treasure maps give treasure per area that the thing is in. Is it a better to get a map in of wasteland versus the forest? Or are they the exact same thing everywhere? All right, now, of course, we have to exit. Double down on our cheater, our cheaterness. If you're not aware of this, once you complete the series of missions, you either have to wait till the next day for the mission reset for him to give you the higher level missions or just you know, exit and reload, and it'll reload the mission set so you have access to the new missions immediately. So we're going to switch right over to Tier 4. Finally closing in on those Tier 5s, which is one of the two things I want to try to do before we finish out this run. This better be good. What do we got? Restore power. Fetch. Fetch clear, I mean. Infested clear. Clear zombies. How about that one? Hurts rent a car. That's a good one. We'll do that one. What's going on over here? We got beer. We got Mega Crush. I can't remember if I upped, uh, if I re-upped my Mega Crush. Rock Busters, Sugar Butts. Eh. Eh, we got four days. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, the night only quests are restore power quests. You have to go to the site, and then there's generators scattered around, depending on the size of the POI. You have more than one sometimes, the higher level ones, and you have to get to those generators, clear the area enough that you can then sit there and hold down a button for like 30 seconds to activate it. Um, which can be a little rough depending on the uh, the location. Get enough time to do it. Eighteen forty-eight. One kilometer that away. Wait, no, that's the merchant one. Do -do 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 -do. I got two treasure maps within a kilometer, huh? Tier four clear. Oh, yuck. Yuck. Oh, crap. Maybe I don't want that one. That's not good. Well, the only trick to the night ones is you take the mission, then you sit on it until it's night, about to be nighttime. You drive over, and as soon as it turns night, right then you activate it and you run through it. But yeah, I, I don't prefer the night missions either. Um, hmm. I am not enthused about this mission now. 
I don't want to go to the de big downtown buildings. I think I'm going to cancel this one and take one of the other ones. And or we'll just go run and grab the treasure maps. Well, look what the cat dragged in. You better have coin. I have a job for you. If are you out of your mind, you time to do some chore. What's the matter? He interested in a gig? I think since that's infested, it'll be a tier three with more zombies. I think it'll still be on the outside edge. Yeah, that's right next to our horde base. Literally. That's a good one. Let's go do that one. Hey there, regular mini horde in the wastelands. This is just ridiculous. These low level zombies hanging out here in the wasteland. Hey! The random guys that show up are going to be power more powerful than this whole horde. We really need to modify these by the game stage. I mean, when the player's rolling around in game stage 248, sending these super low-level zombies at them. Pretty silly. <laughs> These old wackadoodle curbs. All right, where's my shortcut? Right through here. Oh, they're in the corn. They're in the corn. I'm not sure I'll be able to clear this before it gets dark. Hmm. Let's hold this one. Let's we'll wait for morning and we'll run it first thing in the morning. Let's uh go drop off the stuff and run and grab at least one of the treasures. I've been curious a long time about that. Let's see if we can notice a difference by the treasure map being here in the wasteland. Have some cat food and some beer. Ah, which one? I guess we'll go for this one. We're going to straight line it right through all the nasty stuff here. I get kind of road hypnotized when I try to drive through this stuff because I got to kind of <laughs> just widen my eyes and see all the things in front of me and kind of plot a path through the mayhem. Ah, that wasn't good. The motorcycle wobbles too much. Instead of turning, it just, just kind of wobbles over to the side.
What do we get? That seems pretty similar to a normal draw pretty much anywhere, so I don't think it makes a difference. Yeah, not impressed. from existence. Eh, go away. Uh, we're not going to make it. He's already closed. Alright, back to home base. Well, that did not look good, <laughs> especially not with a, uh, a zombie right next to me. Oh, do we? I just, I got no incentive to go into these anymore because we don't need the magazines. I guess the ammo would be nice, but they're never giving me 7.62 armor piercing, so I just yeah, end up having to scrap it or boil it. What's the end goal when you call it complete? I have already uh, stated the end goal conditions for this one. They are one, I have to set up a blood moon base here in the wasteland and then survive a full blood moon in the base, meaning I can't bail out and run away if things go bad. We have to actually get a base to work. And then two, I have to complete a tier six, which is essentially a tier five mission infested version it is considered a tier six. Uh, here in the wasteland that's one of the that's the highest level mission difficulty in the highest difficulty area so it's the it's the hardest of the hard so that's the two things we got to do once we do those two things i'm out of here i'm i'm already long itching to get into a new start i enjoy the early game much more than the late game stuff so i'm all about starting fresh i much more enjoy the I'm a wimp who's naked with a stick. <laughs> I enjoy that condition and that uh, danger than the late game. Uh, let's just make him drop through a hole in a roof into a room full of 30 zombies uh, that instantly aggro and hoard him. I, I, I'm not real excited about that kind of stuff. So I always enjoy restarting. What's the next challenge? Not yet set. Uh, I got some ideas, but I haven't said anything particularly yet. So we've covered, uh, let's see, so my most recent play challenges, I'd done quite a bit of the int line with the shock baton. So we did a lot of int focused stuff. Then we switched to perception and I tested out the new spears in the A21. So we did perception rifle, which was really fun, but really overpowered. The spear needs to get dialed back a bit. It's, it's overpowered now, um, very obviously overpowered. So we had fun with the uh, spear rifle run. Then we did agility and we did a couple of runs with uh, knives and pistols, submachine gun particularly. Uh, now we're doing uh, four or fortitude. So we're doing um, the brawler build. So brawler machine gunner. So the only one left is strength. I guess I'm gonna have to go back to strength just to, you know, keep things even and give everything a fair chance in A21. Um, I just, I, I cannot bring myself to do sledgehammer. I'll have to do a sledgehammer run, but I just don't want to. <laughs> I've never liked the sledgehammer much. Usually I go, uh, club shotgun if I'm going to do anything in strength. But, uh, since I've never done it, just like I'd never done a brawler run, this is my first brawler run. I'll do a sledgehammer run. So it'll be sledgehammer, shotgun, 
Uh, I don't know what I'll pair it with. I usually do a primary and then I pick a secondary stat to uh, kind of supplement it. But um, that I haven't decided. And then I got a few other things. I'm going to probably bump the speed up to run speed from Jog. And I'm going to turn on a limited uh, Twitch integration options. Uh, I'm going to go through and pair a bunch of it out. But I'm going to turn on some limited Twitch integration so the audience can mess with me or help me as we progress through the challenge. So them's the plans. All right, back to work here. I got I got inventory to sort. So much inventory sorting in this game. I'm throwing things in this box by the way. This is I'm I'm subbing this in as a sale box also. This is crap I'm going to take back to the other base mainly cuz I can't really use it here. It's just easy to keep it sorted by food and medicine and then anything not food medicine goes back to the base. Till I set up another another uh box down here. Uh medicine I don't need with me and uh Ammo, and I guess excess cash. We'll throw in the forges for brass. All right, good enough. Man, I'm really not using the ratchet anymore. I should probably just stop carrying it around. Yeah, that's uh, one of the big, big, big benefits of the Undead Legacy is the broadcast storage where anything in your boxes you just hold down a button and there's an option to broadcast storage actually i think they might have changed where the button's at but whatever but you can set the a box to broadcast its contents to nearby workstations so you just dump stuff into the boxes and then when you walk over to a workstation to, to craft something it automatically knows all your nearby materials you don't have to actually pull them into your inventory then go to the craft station build stuff, then go back and put the leftovers in the box, all that crap. Very, very, very beneficial. You know, who knows if fun pimps will ever do something like that. But that's always the first thing I miss when I'm not playing Undead Legacy. All right, I got to figure out what I am going to do here. So, this will be my fighting position just up in the air. Be this big, this deep. Then this will be the exterior part where the um the bars are that I'll be fighting through. So this will be the start of the balance beam. Balance beam will go to here. So only 5 or 6 long. And then this will be the start of the actual platform that the zombies are going to run across. So down at the far end will be a staircase. They're going to climb the staircase. And then there'll be a three wide platform that they can run down to get to me up in my fighting position. And the last part of it will be the balance beam to narrow them down into a single file. Um, and then up on the platform up here to the sides, we're going to have columns or a wall that comes all the way up to be even with the platform. And I'm going to string shock wire across that about every other space. And then we're going to put dart traps in as many as I can fit. And we'll be shocking and darting zombies the entire way that they're trying to get to me. And I'll be standing down here with the M60 pointing down range, just holding the trigger down and waving it by my little barrel back and forth at head height. Just popping zombie heads. And um, we'll see if that's enough. If not, we'll have to add something. I can always put uh, blade traps or something down here underneath the balance beam where they will occasionally quite commonly fall off, assuming they make it all the way down the shock dart line. So that's the plan. So I'll probably build this up first. I'm going to dig at least this much. I'm going to put all the way down to the bedrock, or not the bedrock, but all the way down to the rock layer and have a central column that goes all the way down for extra support. I'm still trying to decide, do I want to just drop concrete blocks down or do I want to actually auger out <laughs> the ground and then put them in? Because this ground is really fragile. This stuff's really easy to break. So when explosions start going off from detonators and cops, this stuff's going to just vaporize. And anything unsupported is going to just drop. Which you don't want. So. Yeah. That's the problem. And that's what takes the time. Getting all that stuff sorted out.
All right. Um, start digging. I'm tempted to see if I even survive. Just keep running missions to see if I even survive the uh, the Blood Moon. Or not the Blood Moon, the T5. <laughs> I could very easily just die in the T5 and it runs over. Then I wouldn't have to take the time to build this thing. So I'm, I'm conflicted. I may just keep running missions and get that done, then throw the building up. Because it only take me probably a day to throw the building up once I actually settle my mind to do it with all the resources I've got available now. So... We might do it that way. Get the other condition met first, then do the final one real fast after we've completed the uh, the mission running. One o'clock. Three hours. Sun will come up. We can run the mission. Let's... Probably make this the same width as well. Let's go ahead and do some digging. Why not? Two layers of the, whatever this is called, wasteland crap, burnt rubble. Two layers of dirt. Oh, cute. We hit the, uh, <laughs> the rock slash gravel layer. <laughs> That's funny. Went too far. I'm trapped, I'm trapped. So, this is essentially the rock layer. And you do this for future stability. Well, not really future in this case. We're in the harshest environment that's possible with a high blood moon or game stage already. So, But you want solid supports that go all the way down to the rock layer. So when this stuff invariably gets blown up by detonators and cops that uh, you have supports that go down to the actual main rock layer. So... With that in, that by itself, if I build up and then across a few to be a have a fighting area, as long as this stays connected and solid, then we're we're golden. But I'm gonna go at least one to each side of it. We're gonna do uh It's the blow ground stuff that takes time. Once you get that done, 
It gets a little faster. All right, so we've got a solid three by three chunk with a couple of extras. Hmm. Next up, so don't need you anymore. Um. Just drop in the other main parts. Four, one, two, three, four. Puts us five high to our standing position. Down at this end, we're going to have a set of stairs going that way. It's time to pull the trigger on the stairs. So this would be block one of the stairs. We're going to be one. Come on now. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So 25 is where, 25, 26 is where we're generally going to be standing in relation to the end of the steps over here. It's important to know this because the zombies are only willing to travel so far away from where you're at in order to find a way to get up to you. So if I tried to put the stairs way out here, they wouldn't actually go this far. They would just mill around below and try to destroy the tower instead of running all the way down here, climbing stairs, and then running towards me. Um, so you got to be careful how far away you, you put that position. So I decided 25 will be my, my test position for this one. So let's just do it. Let's pull the trigger and get some stuff done here. All right, so we are lined up. One, whoops, whoops, whoops. Nope, I need to go underground. Uh, let's see. Start here and then I'll restart that one.
two, three, four, five. So we're one further out than I need to be. That's fine. Now that we've got that. Ah, it dropped anyway. Oh, that's right. I didn't put the next step in. <laughs> All right, whatever. Wasted one block out of my many, many blocks. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. It's only four. That's because I started back one, so we do need this. Just doesn't feel like it's going to be long enough. All right, we'll keep working on this when we're not in the daylight. Construction, go away. Let's go expel some bullets at high speed into some zombies. I don't know this one very well. What's the max distance block? I'm using 25. It's closer to 30. But you got to be really careful because it really sucks to get it all built and then not have the zombies path out that far. So I'm doing 25 is kind of a safe point. Keep it within that distance. All right. Uh, so we're going to have the zombies of the corn. I see a few of them out there already. There's one of those power generators for the nighttime missions. <laughs> what the hell was that? Is that part of the uh, the adventure? Holy crap, look at all these guys. I need to get some recog going. Let's get some height.
Well, that was kind of exciting. Still scooping toilet water. <laughs> Haven't boiled water in I don't know how long. I didn't see a dog so far. Not that I remember. There he is. Piggy! Ah, come on. <laughs> uh, interrupted the animation again. Reload. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Okay. Broken ladder. Hmm. No way am I fighting that kind of group up there. Whoa! Bad bird. Come on out right over here, guys. Hey! Stop doing that. Pretty short and easy, actually, given circumstances. Screamer. Random Screamer, huh? Oh, you just know we're going to get the last Sunset Nursing Home as one of our Tier 5s.
Eh. Just don't care. Now nah, we're doing tier fours right now. Lever action six, huh? 1700. We'll definitely take that one. What do we got? Fetch clear, restore power, restore power. Judy Witch. Yeah, let's go do Judy Witch. Uh, we're working our way through tier four is trying to get to tier five and at night time we're building out our horde base Yep, one of the challenges is to do an infested tier 5, which is quote-unquote a tier 6. I gotta do a tier 6, and I gotta survive a blood moon in a horde base in the wasteland. Those are my two victory conditions. I know, I haven't used any of my moonshine so far. I've been holding it for the later danger stuff, <laughs> so we haven't gotten to the later danger stuff yet. I'm barely using my beer. Not an infested, so I don't have to worry about a ridiculous number of zombies. We're still getting insta kills with headshots on the regular zombies, at least, without the hidden strike. Hello. All right, you are going to get some bullets. <laughs> Damn it. Moving too fast. So many mushy rooms. Either cozy. This is where I need my wrench out so I can get the radiators. Uh, I'm probably not going to get the opportunity to use that much. I'd rather grab the radiators for the ongoing. Oh, come on. <laughs> One point. That's funny the ongoing needs of our ridiculous brass consumption. Love it. Nope.
I always have good intentions on hitting with the fisticuffs, but as soon as I see green, I know how fast they're going to be moving and they're going to shrug off my fisticuffs. So I got to stagger them with the bullets and then finish them with the uh, pointy spike knives on my fingers. Oh, they're so fast. So fast. Ah, uh, this spot. Last time I was here, I blew out this whole section fighting these guys. Um... Yep, they're behind there, they're back there, and there's a radiated biker. Hate radiated bikers. Maybe we'll just wake him up the old-fashioned way. Zombies don't know how to duck. Like we got a few right there. I can wait. That guy worried me for a second there. Still got somebody up top, huh? <laughs> he shot me through the obstruction and wrecked me. <laughs> God, I hate those guys. Uh... Ridiculous. He gave me like four different conditions <laughs> after shooting me through the obstruction. Wow. Radiated police mans. Do not. Oh, yep. We blow the stairs out again. <laughs> Do not like them. Do not like them in the slightest. <laughs> 